Hello guys, this is Alex Gomez and on today's tutorial we're gonna see how I made cuddles, that's how I call the monster from Valentine's. So first we're gonna start with a Dyna Mesh Sphere that you can find in the light box. Make sure the symmetry is on and we're gonna start giving the shape. First we're just gonna block, that, that's the most important thing in the beginning, just block the shapes so you have like a, the, the real um, shape. This is a tutorial more for uh, beginners, it's a really simple character, so I hope you guys really enjoy it and uh, learn something from it. So here we're gonna give just the shape and start smoothing those places, kind of like there's some sharp places there, so the idea of this is just giving the character kind of like the shape of the heart. So, because I make this one just uh, for Valentine's. So here we're just gonna smooth it out. We're gonna use the polish uh, as polish, just kind of like to to get rid of some of the hard edges there and give more of, of the of a good shape for it. As you can see, that uh, brush really works really good, and it depends on the pen, uh, sensitivity of your pen as well. Now we're gonna use the dim, uh, dim, sta dim standard and uh, we're gonna just do the crease for the middle of the heart. Uh, I normally do uh, use a lot of uh, hotkeys for this. So, for example, for the move tool is a BMB, and um, for the S polish, I think it's a BSB. And the standard I think is BDS so if you see like uh, in the in the brush palette you'll see that each uh, brush has an, uh, a letter so you can access the, the brushes like that also I do other kind of like special brushes that are uh, uh, that I got from um, Shane Olson it has a really cool, cool uh, process for stylized characters. I'm gonna leave the link in the description so you guys can can get them. They're really cool. They're really good to work, like uh, to do details, uh, to pinch, uh, to create clothes, uh, to fill, to uh, inflate. They're really, really cool, cool brushes for stylized characters. So we're getting a better shape of the heart here. It's kind of, kind of like a, the police zones <laughs> shape of the heart. Anyway, so bad joke there. So now I'm going to start doing here the eyes. I'm going to kind of like start looking in the eyes or the mouth first. I'm going to put the mouth first. Like a really weird, laughing, silly mouth. So I kind of like adjust uh, first what I do is kind of like just define the shape of it then I mask where the cavity of the mouth is going to be and I just use the move brush and just put it in put it in and then smooth and dynamic and smooth I like to work with that dynamesh sphere because it's already like I set up the dynamesh so every time you do something you use dynamesh here I just noticed that I have to probably to pull it more and more so it's a little bit bigger. Okay. And uh, here I was just smoothing it out and I was just realizing that it wasn't smooth. It's because I pick a different <laughs> smooth brush. So just uh, if sometimes you feel like uh, your surface is not smoothing at all, it's because maybe it's uh, another brush for smoothing that you can put you see it's smooth valleys and I was just frustrated like oh what I'm gonna do here I don't know why it's not uh, smoothing out but then I realized that I had the wrong smooth brush now the cheeks when I do like a 
shapes like that, like the cheeks, like the eyebrows, like a little bit of lip. I kind of like a, do along the shape and then I do across the shape. So I do kind of like the strokes along just to give a little bit of definition and then I go along uh, across the shape. As you can see, I was like uh, trying to smooth, smooth and that didn't work. I was like, what is going on? <laughs> Anyways, I, I kind of like realized that like after I did the eyes. So yeah, so for the eyes it's the same, uh, the same scenario. Just mask uh, kind of like two circles. I just uh, do Control and click. And you mask it to invert. It's Control I. And you invert the mask. And control I and click outside. Is it Control I? I think it's just uh, just Control and click outside. You invert the mask. Sorry just thinking about Photoshop so yeah it's the same scenario you do the mask you invert it and then you push the the sockets the eye sockets inside and then I kind of like I go along the shape and then I do across the shape so I have a little bit of a cold if you guys don't mind uh, in this case you see I went to the brush menu and then I turn on um, auto mask the auto mask is just in those cases that I if I do a brush stroke it cannot affect the other side if I have a really really thin surface so so that's what I what I did there so when I was doing the eyes it was affecting the inside of the eyes and then I I did that so here still I didn't realize that I had the wrong smooth <laughs> brush but I kind of like figured it out after. I was like, what is going on here? I had like a weird mouth and I can't smooth it out. So, there you go. I was like, oh, the wrong smooth. So I went and I found the smooth tool right there. That one is the proper one. Okay, so that's stuff that happens that uh, sometimes you, you just learn on the balls, you know, issues. Like a lot of the, the industry uh, requires a lot of problem solving because you're gonna, like, if you're working in the game or animation industry, you're gonna find a lot of issues with software, with Maya, with Houdini, with Zero. So you have to always, like, the problem, problem solve, and that's one of the skills that that they require when, when you work on a studio it's like a, how you're gonna fix your own shots or how you're gonna fix the lighting without having to ask your supervisor or stuff like that they expect you to to do to figure it out yourself first and it's a good way because you're gonna learn so much about it i find that every time that you problem solve like your your skill level of the skill technical level you just um, it increases a lot. So this uh, set of brushes as well, I took them from from um, Chain Olsen. I, you can download it and just install them and they're really good just to do the kind of like a limbs and stuff like that. So now here I want to start doing the arm, the arms. Just, this is a really simple character, it's not complicated at all, it's just uh, adding some brushes, uh, some IMM brushes doing some um, basic shapes so you want to follow along with this character it's just like it's uh, the speed is just like a uh, hundred percent like real i normally speed up the the process because uh, sometimes it takes like three four hours of sculpting so i think sometimes people don't don't sit down and get through all that time of sculpting i think it's too much so sometimes i just speed it out and and uh, like one of the best things to do is just kind of like to watch the techniques to create some of the shapes. So after I insert those brushes, I uh, right after I do a dynamesh. So I insert the brush and then I position it where I think it should be and then I do dynamesh. that's getting good there and now I think I'm gonna make the tail so that's too big so I have to decrease the brush size 
and do it again Let's increase the upper size there and do the tail and I'm happier with that one I think it's a good size so I'm gonna move it where it should be and then I'm gonna kind of like taper it out so if you go to a stroke curve uh, stroke curve I'm just gonna lock the start and then I'm gonna go to curve functions, I believe. Curve, curve uh, modifiers, sorry. And, in, and I turn on intensity and size, and that's how I taper it out. So once you click the curve, it's gonna take that shape, the taper look. So it's gonna be thick in the base, in the start, and thin in the, um, in the end. So then you can chip it out, like however you want. Oh, it didn't look. I'm just gonna place it. I think it should be. And then I'm just gonna move it. I'm just gonna make sure that the yeah, lock start is on. Yeah, it's gonna give it the shape. The shape of the heart, because it was Valentine's. It's not anymore, but you know, I hope you guys have a really good Valentine's. With your loved ones, really good fun, do something special, romantic, or who knows. Okay, so we'll give the shape of the tail. That's good, I like that much better. Yeah. Kind of like getting like an S. I really like this brush, like two uh, curved tubes brushes are so cool stuff like that okay so that's great here and then oh, that's nice so once uh, you're happy with your tail you can just uh, 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 control drag click to dynamesh and then just smooth it out because it's gonna have some kind of like a polygons Smooth out. This is a very very simple character. I just came up with this character. Like, you know, take long. So, like a, it is almost really simple. Like to be honest, I've been so busy lately with work and uh, other contracts and freelance and stuff and family, and it was like really hard. And finally, like, really hard to find time to create some of the tutorials, but. You know, like whatever. Like I, I'm really happy that I, if I can help uh, people starting in sculpting, like uh, yeah, that's my goal. So I can help you guys with sculpting, and I'm gonna try to have more tutorials with voice over because I normally just do like a speed sculpting and just put music in the background. I'm gonna put music in the background, this one. anyways. But but I find like uh, it takes me more time. And, this week has been a little bit easier for me, so that's why I had a little bit of time to to create uh, this tutorial, normal speed, and with voiceover. Now we're gonna do the fingers. The fingers we do the same thing. Like we're just gonna do the insert brush, and we're gonna move them where we think where we sh they they should be, or we want to put them. <coughs> so, the same brushes that I told you about, like uh, Shane Olsen, like I'm gonna leave the, the, the link in the description of it. And that's good. Yeah, I might be doing some tutorials on Blender. I'm gonna start when it's just like I had such a hard time starting learning Blender not long ago. And I started doing my first sculpt and it's like a, so different than ZBrush. I, I love ZBrush. I love ZBrush. Because like some people say like, okay, well, should I learn for sculpting and stuff? Like, you know, if, if you know like uh, your anatomy and you know the sculpting techniques kind of thing and you know like uh, shapes, proportions, stuff, whatever tool you do is, you know, like the tool is not going to make you a good artist. Your skill is what make you a good artist. Like your knowledge of... Uh, of uh, composition or your knowledge of, uh, in this case, uh, you're creating characters like anatomy and stuff like that. So, yeah, so I'm learning Blender because I know a lot of people are using Blender right now and it's free, which is great. 
but yeah, it's so much different than ZBrush. So what I did there, I kind of like uh, did the inflate tool, and at the tip of the fingers, I just inflated, so it kind of like keep like uh, those uh, little fatty fingers, cute, cute little fingers. So that's what I'm doing there. And then I think I'm gonna move this one more. And you just always rotate the camera, always rotate the camera and see what is working, what is not working, and see, oh, this shape I don't like as much. I like this one much, and you know, kind of like a half. I, I always do that. I always rotate and rotate and move and move stuff and rotate. Like, I don't care much about the back because I just gonna. I just an image. If it were for animation, yes, I I, I would care to have like like a nice box, or but for this case, it's just like a, you know, for a three render concept character, it's fine for me. So now I'm gonna paint um, a sphere, and that's gonna be the eyes. So I just go like to a sub tool and make sure if it always happens that to me. Like I try to move the new sub tool that I append and I ended up moving like the, the, the main body. So we're gonna place one eye and then when we're happy with the size of the eye we're gonna go to C plugin and we're gonna go to sub tool master we're gonna mirror and make sure they merge into one sub tool and a mirror X is activated and then you, there you go you have the eye Rotating the shapes, and I think now I'm gonna fix that. It doesn't look good, but it's looking. It's, it's okay. It's a very simple character, and you know sometimes it's good to start with something very simple if you're starting with sculpting. Just kind of like a, to have the feeling of the tool, kind of like you know to. Be, like okay I like this tool yeah I know how to move to go uh, add some clay I use clay build up uh, to smooth surfaces to move to polish to create details to add uh, IMM brushes so it's just to, to familiarize is really good just to to start with a really simple character really simple things so so yep, I keep moving, moving, and moving, moving. And if you see right in the left corner, you can see the silhouette. That kind of like gives you a, like a really cool idea of your composition. Like that uh, black and white it gives you like a really nice okay character is looking good, it's looking good. Sometimes like it, 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 you see that the, you can tell what is that black silhouette. It's kind of like your character it has like good composition. If you don't notice what it is, it's, it's, it's hard. It's, it's not a good composition. Okay. Yeah, sometimes it seems that I'm not doing anything, but I'm just kind of like looking for uh, shapes or looking for uh, kind of like uh, this proportion style. I know these guys are not proportional at all. Most of my characters are not proportionate, but I always look uh, for things that, that look right. Sometimes if you look at your character, yeah, that happens to me a lot. So sometimes when you, when you look at your character and, um, and you see that something is off, so... I, I spend some time like uh, turning the camera around, going around, looking one angle, looking the other angle, and see if uh, everything is fine and lo looks fine. Because sometimes if it's off, uh, you have to kind of like modify the shapes, uh, use the move tool and move stuff. So for the toes, I'm doing the same thing that I did with the with the fingers in the for the hands. So I'm just inserting that brush, and then at the tip of the the tip of the toe, I'm just gonna inflate. So do the dynamesh and then I'm gonna go with the inflate brush and give the blobbiness to the toes and smooth them out. Just a little bit and yep. And kind of like create a little bit of a of the heel of the foot and a little bit of the shape right there. Okay. So that's good and here I uh, just because the mouth is not symmetric symmetric so I just turn off symmetry off 
I start pulling them out and kind of like I give it like a better smile. It's kind of like a weird smile. I know this guy has a weird smile anyways, but but I give him a better smile. It's looking much better, much better. I remember always to save your work. Sometimes I just spend time, 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 like a half an hour, 20 minutes, and I don't save my work, and all of the sudden C Bush crash, and I was like, oh, F. I, yeah, I lost a lot of time of working and didn't do much. So for here, make sure that you're in a draw mask, because we're gonna do the shape of the eye. So we're gonna go with the max pen. Did I do that one? I kind of like recording this one, kind of like after I created. I record the voice after I created and I commented on the video. I just find like a, if I have like a, for example, like half an hour to to work, I work, and sometimes like I, I cannot record when my kids are around, they're just like yelling and playing and pa 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 pa, so <laughs> it's a little bit hard, so I just write, create the video, then commenting on it, or about it, after, so it's kind of like a quiet place, and eventually probably I will buy a, a better microphone, so, so I can have a better sound for these tutorials. So right there is just kind of like a created like a like a, a mass circle inverted and then here I'm just gonna polish. Yep. Use the polish tool and then I'm gonna smooth it out so I can do the eye is it the iris? The iris it is yeah the iris of the of the eye and then I'm gonna work in the pupil. The pupil. I think like sorry for my English if you guys kind of like a you know my heavy is Spanish accent. I know sometimes people get so annoyed with accents, but anyway, I just try to do it. But hope you understand. If there you have any questions, just leave me a, a message in the comments, or uh, you have any uh, any questions, just follow me on Instagram. On Instagram, I'm very active on Instagram and if you have any questions, like a lot of people DM me there and ask me for stuff or for some uh, advice or something about the industry, about the CG, about 3D, uh, and I'm very happy to help. Um, yep. So let's divide that eye more because it's not looking good. There's some stuff that doesn't look good there. Turn the resolution up of Dynamesh and I'm gonna Dynamesh the eye and then gonna smooth it out inside the pupils. Pupils! Okay. There you go. Much better. Much better. Okay. Now I think I'm gonna add some uh, detail and I'm gonna pinch the outside of the eye. And I like to define better the shape right there. Which looks really nice. That's perfect. Okay. And now after this, like those eyes. I think I'm gonna work on the eyebrows. And this one, let's see. It's gonna look around. I'm gonna add teeth as well. It looks kind of silly like that without teeth. I think like teeth, <laughs> when you add teeth to a character with a with a silly face, it kind of like adds so much, so much character to it. So yeah, I'm just gonna append a sphere as well. I'm gonna move it out, scale it down, scale it on set, and then I'm gonna uh, no, don't rotate that way. Just a scale, scale, scale down, scale down, and then gonna use the move tool to give like a to, to the um, shape. Yep. Now make sure you turn on symmetry. Every time you, you create a new sub tool, like when you open a new sub tool, the symmetry is off. So, so you want your uh, sub tool to be symmetric, just make sure to press X. 
And there you go. That's a simple tooth. That's like a nothing like a, wow. It's gonna make like a. This is kind of like a stylized, cartoonish character. Very simple, as I said before. So, so it's nothing out of this world. So if you hold Alt, you can move your gizmo. Uh, if you hold Alt and you go in the corner of the gizmo, you can move your gizmo and create a pivot point wherever you want to to place it in the object. Okay, so you see now I have one tooth and it looks really funny. Two tooth, teeth, sorry, and it looks funny. And they have like a cricket, crooked teeth, it looks funny too. And one bigger than the other one, and let's kind of like rotate and give that shape better. And you see, it gives like it brings a lot of character, just make it the silliness go like 120% for the character, make it uh, to make it like a way sillier. <clears throat> okay, that's pretty good. Okay, that's. I'm liking that better and I think after that what I'm gonna do probably gonna merge all the teeth so you select the first one merge down merge down and you merge the three of them kind of like normally like to merge uh, if I'm working uh, no if I'm working if I gonna do some shaders uh, different materials the eyes uh, different material the um, the body is a different material and the teeth are different material normally you have the my soup tools like different some people emerge and create just like a huge map for everything uh, that works a lot for games but uh, for me like I come from the TV uh, and animation industry so so we just do it like a shader per mostly like if it's the body body has subsurface scattering we just do it with the body and uh, we create a shader per, per kind of per material per se. So if the teeth is different material, just the material is different. So we create like a for this character has like a body, eyes, and teeth. So it will have like three different shaders. I normally do my my texturing in Substance Painter. I really love sub Substance Painter. So it's uh, like a easy, intuitive to do. And eventually I will do um, a tutorial about it. So I, I think I have some. Of my, I always, always, always record my process. So in the case that I, oh, I wanna do a tutorial of this one, I have some material already done. But sometimes there's a lot of stuff that you guys haven't seen, and hopefully I can reuse it. I'm pretty excited to do the one that I'm doing for Blender. It's gonna be my first time in Blender, but uh, I'm still gonna keep doing tutorials uh, for ZBrush or, you know, like sharing my process, commenting, uh, saying what I'm doing, in what steps. So here we're going to give it another heart and this is going to be the tip of the tail and it's going to be a heart shape. So I did the same, I just created a, a pen, a sphere, I gave the shape of the sphere and then I scale it down, I press X to do the symmetry, give the shape with the move tool and so you know if you want to to scale your things it's kind of like a it's Q is draw mode and W is uh, is the gizmo mode so you will move rotate scale so that's the, the turkey so Q draw W is the the transpose, the transpose is smart that's how it's called you want to access that tool with W now I'm gonna place it at the tip of the tail. Okay, so that's no, I don't think that's gonna go that way. It's the other way. So we're gonna go through it. Well, I don't remember. It's that way. Yep. Okay. So that's much better. And now I have the tail. And I have this silly little guy looking at who knows what, <laughs> who knows who, because I don't know his eyes, one is looking one side, the other one is looking for it, and, <laughs> and yep, I 
think I'm gonna add some detail now for the for the body. This tiny mesh here. Increase the resolution because I'm gonna add some details and I'm gonna put it like a, a thousand thirty two. It's gonna take a little bit of time, not too long, but yeah, every details that I do and I if I dynamesh it's gonna keep those details. So you're not gonna lose the, your details. If you have the resolution at 128 and you add details and then you dynamesh, boom, those details are gone. Okay. So if you see like I always move in a lot, move in the camera. Details of the mouth, yep. upper lip. So this one is gonna pinch out. So it's already set up for pinch out, and I'm gonna pinch, pinch in. So if you want to invert the brush, just just control and you invert it. Okay. Is it control out. I think it's control. If it's not control, it's out. Try one, one or the other. The thing I've been working with, 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 with Blender lately and it's just like so different. So different. So I kind of like messed up. Like besides this, like doing 3D, like I do a lot of... I, I work in, in the tree industry since 2006. And lately I changed careers. Like uh, my background is in industrial design. So now like I design products for sports. But I love 3D, so I still keep doing this. And uh, yeah, and the thing like uh, at work I use SolidWorks, and uh, I do rendering keyshot at home, and I do like uh, some freelance. I use Maya, and I do ZBrush, and I use Substance Painter. But Maya, I've been using Maya since probably 2004. Uh, so you have any questions about Maya? them so now I learn in blender and I'm just kind of like confused with the with the keys now or the, keys are. <laughs> or the, the hot keys anyways so we're gonna have this little guy this lip better there let's move it out there and this guy is gonna be ready for like Siri measure, I do like Siri measure. I'm just gonna show the the sculpting for it this time. I like I, I, I'm gonna try my best to show more of my process. Or if I can, like if I see that I spend a lot of time doing it, I will come up with a with a tutorial like I, in, on Gumroad or uh, in the website that I'm building right now. But it is time consuming. It's a lot of time consuming this. But my, I, I'm happy to do it. I'm happy to uh, happy to share my knowledge to you guys. So yeah, we have almost our guy here ready. Our silly heart, Cuddles. Someone put a, the name Cuddles. Also, I'm um, TikToking. I don't tick, I I don't do like the, the dances and stuff. Although I can dance, but but. My, my thing is the, the, the 3D art, <laughs> so, so don't expect me to, to see dancing in TikTok. I just like to share my process and my, I'm, I'm my one day, who knows. Just like this guy, I'm silly as well, so I end up dancing. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, so give some details to the, to this little guy, and it's looking much better. Let's do some details in the lower part of the eyes as well. And just like simple brushes that I use. I don't use anything fancy or, you know, like just the brushes from Shane Olsen. They're really good and uh, that's all. Uh, if you don't find the brushes or something, it's a character workshop. I don't have any affiliate or anything with him, I just uh, found online that someone was using those brushes, I download them and I freaking love them. Like I'm not taking the course because I've been doing this stuff for a long time. It will be nice to have like a different kind of knowledge, but that will be something that I will comment probably in another video, whether if you go to school or not for animation. I say you shouldn't, there's so many good programs out there and sometimes animation schools are not that good. There's some that are really awesome, but do you really want to spend like 30, 40 grand a year 
or do you really want to spend like five grand and get a really really good courses uh, with no man workshop or cg cg masters or there's so much stuff or e even like taking the the chain also in character design workshop anyways guys so i hope you really like this tutorial i really enjoy talking to you guys and if you have any questions just let me know uh, drop a message drop a follow subscribe like the video um, please subscribe and watch my other videos and that will help me a lot to keep creating more content so take care guys and have a awesome week bye